about that one. How about this one? When the Pirate King invaded Lammas died. Nah, we read that one yesterday. And the day before. Wait, 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 here we go. My favorite. I know you'll like this story, little Teddy. It's a special one, very close to my heart. My brother Flynn, he used to tell me this story all the time. It's called The Final Battle. It goes like this. One thousand years ago, the legendary warrior was called to Valdi. The world had been under attack by a very, very bad mage. At the rise of the sun, this evil mage stole all the seasons. At the day's zenith, he burned all the crops. At sunset, he summoned his hordes to kidnap all the children. Hmm. Where'd I put the hordes? The legendary warrior stands expressionless, impassive, and alone. But wait! Who is that? Ari bounces out of the sky and lands next to her hero. She says, I'm here to help. The legendary warrior nods at his new companion. Together, and not afraid, they face down the hordes and the evil mage. With shrieks and cries, the fight begins. Together, her and her hero fight and win. But just when they thought the victory was won, one wounded member of the Horde was about to strike down the legendary warrior from behind. But Ari jumped in the way and took the blow for the legendary warrior. Such sacrifice. Flynn would have been proud. The legendary warrior took quick vengeance for his newly acquired friend. Then it was just the two figures left standing on the plain of battle. You may destroy my hordes, but you will never defeat me. I will beat you up. The legendary warrior goes on the attack bringing the evil mage to his knees. Now I shall bonk you on the head and lock you away forever. Oh! A bonk on the head! My one weakness! Coming, Mom!
hurts. You almost took my eye out, you scoundrel. Did you get my brother's sword, Hyena? I can't believe it. Flynn disappeared weeks ago. I have to show Mom and Dad. How bad the weather is, I'm still going to be delivering your packages, no matter what. You should have seen the market, Kalena. Hyenas everywhere! But I, Ronin the Messenger, am stalwart. I protected the citizens of Yule. Hey, that's not what happened. <clears throat> Ari, what happened to your face? And your dress looks like it's been dragged through the mud. Oh, <clears throat> by the way, I have a message for... Okay, I, I'll, I'll just let myself out. <laughs> Stupid hyenas, am I right? <laughs> oh, that stinks. An emergency guardian session is called. Location, Dome of the Seasons. Agenda, Disruption of the Seasons. Bring strawberry juice? Mom, Dad can't go to this. Of course, he is grieving. But I know what you're thinking. Stay out of it. But Mom, one of the hyenas had this. This means Flynn could be alive, doesn't it? I'll go to the emergency meeting. The Guardians could help search for Flynn. No, Ari. Impossible. As the Guardian of Winter, it is your father's business and his alone. Your brother could have gone as his apprentice, but we must adhere to tradition. But I can help. Let me try, Mom. No, Ari. You need to stay here. Your father needs you. I need you. He can't just give up. What did I say? No, Ariel. You are not allowed to attend guardian meetings. And I'm not losing another child. That's final. Ariel. I'm sorry I yelled. No matter what Mom says, I have to get to the Guardian's meeting.
Oh. Ah. here. Yule was the only safe region left. Flynn used to practice with the Winter Crystal all the time. He made those same spheres. Our house is still in winter. That's gotta be Dad's crystal. I can't show up to the Guardian's meeting without Dad's crystal. I've got to find it! Winter Crystal?